Let's start weird. Necrophilia. Party in his pockets and you're invited. Incredibly awkward. In a large stapler. That's got the nose boner right now. <laughs> Why is it that people love weird things? Now, before you watch this video, if you're squeamish, you're scared a bit too easily, easily disgusted, then you should probably watch this video to help you get over that. And if you're like me and a bit weird, then keep watching because I've got some downright creepy, horrifying facts just for you. Now, before we get into it, I wanna make sure you nicely wrap up the like button as a gift that you can give to your pet shark so they can subscribe and you can subscribe as well. Now, I've always been fascinated with ancient Egypt and I recently discovered that female mummies were always a bit more decomposed than male mummies. Now, the reason for this, it was discovered that the male bodies were embalmed a lot sooner than the female bodies. Now, this wasn't because of ancient sexism or anything like that. Female bodies were kept at home longer until they decomposed to avoid necrophilia. If you get stung by a cone snail, you don't feel the sting for a while. But some of the deadlier cone snails can kill you in under 30 minutes. It also happens that there's no such thing as an anti-venom for the cone snail. The treatment is basically keeping the victim alive until the venom wears off. And it just so happens that the cone snail shells are beautiful. Of course they are. So yeah, don't pick one up just in case there's one on the inside. Number three, this one's very weird even for me, but it could prove very useful. Criminals who used to get hung experience something incredibly awkward they get a death erection known as Riggle erectus. It's also known as angel lust or terminal erection. It's a post-mortem erection. Technically, it's a pre-epism, a prolonged unwanted erection for several hours. Why the hell does this happen? Well, it's been attributed to pressure on the cerebellum created by the noose. And spinal cord injuries are known to be associated with priapism. Now here's a bit of useful life advice that everyone should know. It should be common knowledge because it could save someone's life. Now, if you come across a man that's been strewn off his motorbike, he's been involved in some accident like falling off his ladder. If you come across a man who looks like he's happy to see you, party in his pocket, a large stapler, flag that's at full mast, actually one eye okay, snap. Okay, we get it, we get it. <laughs> Listen, I mean, the point is, if he's got an erection, do not move him. He could have a spinal cord injury. Now it's important to note that these death erections aren't purely the preserve of men. Women get them too. The labia and the other genital tissue fill with blood and become engorged. Because if you didn't know by now, the female genitalia also has erectile tissue. Yes, women can get boners too. Speaking of erectile tissue, and that wasn't a line I was planning to use today, the inner lining of your nostrils also contains erectile tissue. So yeah, you can get nose boners too. That's a nice little icebreaker at the next event you go to. So the thing you need to know about noses, you have one dominant nostril that most of the airflow goes in and out through, and the other nostril has less airflow. And that's because on one side, the erectile tissue is expanding and deflating. And every half an hour or so, the dominant nostril switches. So test yourself now, breathe out, there'll be one dominant nostril. So I've got this nostril that's got the nose boner right now. Comment below right now and tell me which nostril has the nose boner. So why the hell does this actually happen? What is the advantage of this happening? Well, our bodies are designed to conserve water. That's what we do to prevent insensible water losses. And the point of the erectile tissue in the nostrils becoming erect and then deflating is to prevent these insensible water losses. Oh yeah, and a quick funny life hack if you actually want to get rid of a stuffy nose, try this. Put the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth and press between your eyebrows this little space called the glabella. When you do this maneuver, you're actually rocking backwards and forwards the vomer bone and that actually helps to decongest your sinuses. Check your vomer to check your nose boner. If you're still not tired of erections, I've got one more erection fact for you. There's a type of spider that actually gives you an erection. Fenutria nigriventa, aka the Brazilian wandering spider. 
Well, not because it's a sexy spider or because you've got a weird spider fetish. Listen, I'm not judging here. It contains a toxin, a type of venom, which can give you a priapism, an unwanted prolonged boner. And yes, men and women, this spider is not sexist. I see you sitting there thinking, why is a prolonged erection bad? I actually pay for pills to give me an erection. Well, let me tell you why. In the male aubergine, for example, there are two cylinders present called the corpus cavernosum. These cylinders fill with blood and cause the erection and give it its rigidity. They become engorged with blood. However, a prolonged erection means compression of the blood vessels which drain the blood from the male appendage. So blood can't get out and eventually blood can't get in, causing a stasis or stagnation of blood in the male sausage. Eventually the tissues of the male pen 15 will suffer damage due to prolonged starvation of blood and oxygen. This damage can manifest in several ways, causing excessive penile curvature, can cause erectile dysfunction, or worse. What can be worse than that, you ask? In severe cases, the damage can be so severe it can lead to penile gangrene and autoamputation. It falls off. Yes, I said autoamputation. All right, all right, don't get too excited. That's all I've got for you now, but there is more to come. So if you're feeling dirty, go and have a shower and make sure you subscribe to me before you go and have a shower. For you weirdos out there, I'll be back next week. I'm Dr. Curran. I'll be in this same chair next week and probably in this same t-shirt.